API access has become such a fundamental concept and requirement, really, for so many things surrounding Microsoft Dynamics that you have to just learn how to do it immediately, whoever you are, because it is so important. You don't need an Azure subscription, fortunately, because if you already are in Dynamics 365, you already have Azure. You just have to go to Office 365. You click here and make sure you're an administrator. You log in as an admin. You go to the admin centers. You go to Azure Active Directory. It's very simple. You click Azure Active Directory when you get in. You click App Registrations. You click New Registration. Call it whatever you like. Simple enough to call it D365, whatever you want. Doesn't matter what you call it. You get the Application Client ID. That is key right there. You make sure you have that. And you can pay, copy and paste that somewhere else. But that's what you'll need when you do the next step after this. Okay, you've got your app registration. You must now give it permissions. View API permissions. You add a permission and you find Dynamics. Dynamics CRM, simple enough. User impersonation is fine. Click Add Permissions. Now that you've registered the app and you have permissions, you do need a secret. So click Certificates and Secrets and create a new client secret. Just call it what you like. You can set an expiration, but it's not necessarily recommended. I'll say never, click Add. Then copy both the value and the ID just to have because it's very important. You'll need it in the next steps. Now that you've got your secrets and your app registration, it's now time to visit Microsoft Dynamics so you can set up the application user. Once you land in Dynamics, you click the gear and you go to advanced settings. Once the screen loads, you go to settings, security, go to users, change it to application users and click new. You'll have to switch the form to application user form. And that gives you one and only one field. And what you're putting in this field is the client ID or the application ID that you copied first in Azure. At that point, you just click save and close. Then what you have to do is give the user a role so that they can do something. Whatever it is that they need to do, you just provide that role. And you do that by switching to application users, clicking here, and clicking manage roles. And then you just provide the role that they need, just whatever it is. It's a good idea to choose sales enterprise app or just app access in general. And then just whatever role that's required of them. And then just click OK. The secret, the value of the secret, as well as that app ID are the two things you need to authenticate in a variety of ways. Almost every API app that consumes data from it these days would require something like this. And this is also really important for the fact that two-factor authentication is now in widespread use in Microsoft tenants. So really this is in many ways the only way a lot of your apps will be able to access the data that they need in Microsoft Dynamics. So I hope this helps.